But guys, I just wanted to say congratulations to each and every one of you, whether you just joined this business, you've been in this business for 10 months since we launched it or even before. Guys, we are uh, we are literally crushing the industry. I'm, I'm just going to give it to you straight. Live Good right now has over 800, listen to this, 836,000 active distributors as of yesterday. That is insane, and we've done it in 10 months. We are breaking every imaginable record this industry has ever seen. I mean, we're growing faster than Amazon. Amazon didn't have a million people in the first year, and they're doing over 200 million people right now in memberships. Guys, you have your hands on the absolute most awesome, incredible, amazing opportunity of a lifetime right here in your hands. You just got to go out here and rank up. I'm just going to say this, Kelly. You got to rank up the bank up, guys. You got to rank up the bank up. You don't want to be sitting around waiting on spillover, checking your back office every day, looking if anybody fell on you. No, you want to go build it. You get to, you help to, and you just keep repeating that until you hit diamond. That's where you want to go because diamond is a six-figure income. And I was just looking at the... uh, I was looking at the numbers the other day, and this young guy, I believe, out of the Philippines, I don't remember his name, so I'm not going to call any names, but he's 21 years old. 21 years old and just hit diamond. And then he just posted a video yesterday where this, this young man literally was sleeping on cardboard boxes. Literally blew my mind. And because he had the right attitude, the focus, the understand what we have here with Live Good and just out here sharing it every day. I mean, the guy goes from sleeping on cardboard to a six-figure income. That is just amazing. That's just one. Listen to this. That's just one of out of 72 diamonds in this company. 72 people are earning well over $100,000 a year, and we're only 10 months old. No company's doing that. Guys, we have platinums in this company that are earning six figures because rank is great, but it's all based on your organization. It, this company is all about helping people. So you guys keep rocking and rolling. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Trisha, for stepping up the leadership, being here. I'm going to hop off of here. The number one reason why people fail in network marketing, and it's very interesting. You may have never heard this. This is just my my own thoughts on it, okay? It's not something that you hear in trainings. But in my personal opinion, the number one reason why people fail in network marketing is because subconsciously, you really wish for a Ponzi scheme. I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you, subconsciously, you're really hoping for a Ponzi scheme. And then when you join a company like LiveGood, you realize it's not a Ponzi scheme and it doesn't work for you because it's not quick money. It's not easy money. And that's what people want when they come into an opportunity. They're like, I'm sorry, my dog is, I'm in Mexico, by the way. I am in Mexico today. Uh, And hopefully the internet connection will be good because last night I had no internet at all. So hopefully today it'll hold here for the meeting for us. And uh, we started to bring my dog with us, even though it's very inconvenient because it's a condo and you got to go down the elevator to take her to go potty. Um, And at home, she has a doggy door and it's a lot easier. But anyway, so I apologize for the barking here in the background. But that's the reason, guys. I see it. People come in. They're excited. They're going to do it. They're they're just going to make it happen. And they're going to reach out to people. And then two weeks later, a month later, maybe two months later, for some, it may be 90 days later. But all of a sudden, you realize it was not easy money. It was not quick money. And then you move on to the next thing with that same wish, right? Subconsciously, not consciously, but subconsciously. You move on to the next thing and that same thing happens again, because guess what? If it's a legit business opportunity, it is not going to be easy and it is not going to be quick money. It's going to be a lot of work, effort, energy. You have to grow as a person. You have to learn. You have developed skills. That is a legit business opportunity. It takes time. It takes patience. And it takes a lot of skills that you have to learn along the way. You can earn as you learn, but you do have to learn. And it is going to take some time to get there. Hang on just one second, you guys. I, it's kind of noisy here. Let me, uh, Mexico is not the ideal place to, to do these. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I have, they are in the floor here uh, doing some things. But so- That's, um, you know, that that's an important thing to know is that it is a legit opportunity. So you got to give yourself some time. I think what I see a lot in in here is 
people just giving up on themselves very quickly and thinking that if they move on to the next thing, that it's going to be any easier. And it is not. It's always going to be a challenge. You're always going to have to develop skills. You're always uh, going to have to learn new things to be able to succeed at whatever company that you go to. And I can promise you guys, Live Good is by far the easiest company I have ever seen since 1998. I've been in the industry since 1998. If you cannot make it here, if you're not going to become successful and live good, I hate to break the bad news to you. You are never going to succeed in anything else that you do. That is just the truth. Because if you cannot share with somebody something that has gigantic value, something that helps them to save money instead of spending money, if you can't share with somebody uh, something that has benefits to them, how in the world, and oh, and by the way, you guys, it's 50 bucks for them to get in, right? And then $10 a month to maintain it. And not really, because when you look at a family like mine, I'm saving 300 plus dollars a month. So is there really a cost for me? Was there even a cost to get started? No, it was never a cost because we do, we are a family that really focuses on health and wellness. We always have. I was personally buying Organifi on Amazon. I was spending $140 a month on two products, which is the red juice and green juice. Now I'm on super reds and super greens, and that's saving me $104 a month. So it's if you can't share with somebody something that's going to save them money, how in the world are you going to build a business where you need to share something that's $500, $1,000, or $2,000? You can't. I promise you, you can't. So just focus on learning the skills necessary to grow here. To grow, the number one tip I can give you is do not worry about people's opinions of you. I tell my 17-year-old that every single day. What people think of you, their opinions do not change who you are. It does not get you any closer to your goals and dreams in life. Their opinions are completely useless. Live out loud. Be you. Do you. It doesn't matter if people like you, dislike you, because here is the bottom line. Here are the facts. 80% of people are going to love you no matter what you do or say. They, they just love you. You can fall and they help you. They, they help you to get up. There's 15% that are always going to be indifferent. So 15% of people don't really care if you exist or not. And 5% really dislike you no matter what you do or say. You cannot do anything to change their opinion. So just be you and show up, you guys. Show up for yourself. You are the main character in your movie. Your life is your own movie. I, I tell my son, I say, you love Spider-Man? You are the Spider-Man of your life. You are the main character. So live out loud. Do say whatever you want. As long as you're not hurting anyone's feelings, you're, you're not you know doing anything that's illegal, that's wrong. Just be you. And with that, I tell you, show up, you guys, on social media. Show up as the real you. Who are you? People want to get to know you. And if they get to know you, they will like and trust you. And people only do business with people they know, like, and trust. So show up authentically you. Because if you're pretending to be somebody else, if all you're doing is copying posts from other people, you're copying and pasting, you know, once in a while, it's great. I, I sometimes get ideas from other people too. I'm like, oh, I like this post. So I may copy and paste and then I completely modify it. But what you don't want to do is pick up somebody else's post. Like, for example, I am a woman and I am a brunette. So when I put emojis, that's the emoji that goes up, right? It's the emoji with the brown hair and it's a brunette and it's a woman. I've seen guys copy and paste my post and all my emojis are on there. Do you think that's going to bring you any following? People are like, this is a phony here. This is a fake. Like, this is not even his post for crying out loud. Some brunette <laughs> who wrote the post. It's not him. So if you're going to copy an idea, that's totally fine. I don't mind when people copy my ideas. But be authentically you because then people connect with you. You need to develop your little tribe of people, right? You need to develop 
a, a group of peeps that love and trust you. They follow you. They see eye to eye with your message. They, they like what you have to share. Guys, you need to do that no matter what. If you're ever going to make money online on anything, you have to build a following. You have to build. And I'll tell you this. It's not even about the size of your following. I have seen people with 20,000 followers on social media and they have zero engagement. They post something and they get two likes. I've seen people with a thousand followers and they post something and they have 200 likes and they have all these people engaging with them. So it's not about number of people. It's about the quality of people that are following you and you get good quality by providing good quality. So you want to provide uh, value for these people, entertainment. You know, you want to find out what it is that your people are interested in. What do they want to hear from you? Like what, what do you want to do for them? How can you help them? Because everybody hears the same radio station, WIIFM, what's in it for me. So people are not really worried about you and you know, your hair, if you look good, if you look bad, if you're old, if you're young, all they care about is what are you going to do for me? What's in it for me? How are you going to provide value here? And if you provide value, they will show up for you. They they want to know what you have to say. Oh, what is she sharing today? What kind, what can I learn today? What kind of value can I learn from her today or from him? And so that's the idea with social media is that you show up with value for people and entertainment, you know? <laughs> like Kelly said, I love to dance. And uh, somebody took a video of Desiree and I dancing on deck on the cruise ship. That video went viral. So entertain people, give them something that, you know, they care about and they will follow you and they will engage with you. Once that happens, you're going to start growing your business. Now let's talk about skills. You know, you have to do th things that are uncomfortable, right? At the beginning, I remember posting, you know, selfies and I was like, oh, this is so painful. Like I'd rather die than to see another selfie of myself. But guess what? That's what it takes, you guys. It it that's what it takes because Facebook favors selfies because they have facial recognition. And once you put your face there, they know it's you and they're like, oh, it's a selfie. We like this post. So let's show this post to more people. So when you're just posting text and you have a link attached to it and you get one like, it's because Facebook didn't even share it with anybody. The algorithm sabotaged your post. The algorithm is like, mm, no, we don't like this post. We're not going to show it to anybody. So the first step, it's getting comfortable with, with selfies. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really care if I see my face on there like 10 times a day. That's just what it is, right? You get used to things in life. That's how you grow. It, you expand and you become more and more comfortable as you're expanding uh, your, your skills and, you know, it's one of those things where they say, you know, your life begins outside of your comfort zone. So nothing is going to happen for you and your business for as long as you are comfortable. So ask yourself, am I comfortable? If you are, you're not making money. You have to be highly uncomfortable in any business. In real estate, I started to make a lot of money and to, as of today, you know, I have a great real estate team and we are, you know, top in the state. We sell a lot of houses. But when I started, I remember like literally sweating, like sweaty palms, like heart palpitations, like short shortness of breath, calling a for sale by owner. I mean, I would literally have like physical symptoms having to do this. And over time, I literally became one of the top trainers on this in the state of Arizona. I, to this day, I am one of the best for sale by owner listing agents in the Valley. I am so good at it. So you have to be bad at something because before you become good, you guys, you got to really suck at it. You got I, I had a trainer in real estate that used to say you have to embrace the suck. So I had to embrace the fact that I was so bad at calling Fizbos. I would almost hang up on them instead of then them hanging up, hanging up on me because I was so nervous about making that phone call. So whatever it is that makes you uncomfortable is what is going to take you to all your goals and dreams in life. So if it is posting selfies today, as soon as we're done with the call here, go post a selfie. 
go do a post with, with a selfie and pour your heart out. Who are you? What are you doing here in Live Good? Why did you join? What are your goals? Like, just go in and pin that post to the top of your Facebook page. Who are you? Hey, I am Trisha Costa, and I'm, I have Brazilian parents. I have a 17-year-old. Uh, my husband's a dermatologist. We live in Arizona. We have this awesome Airbnb business down in Mexico where we, sh we uh, rent condos that's the kind of stuff you want to have on there. Like, who are you? Are you married? Did you have children? Where do you live? What are your goals and dreams? Why did you join Live Good? I love network marketing. I was discouraged by the industry. I've been in it since 98. I made seven figures. I saw 97% of my team struggling to pay an overpriced auto ship. I was disgusted by the industry and then live good came into my life. We don't have any auto ships. We don't have price gouging. We don't have starter packs or founders packs. We pay on placements for the first time in history. Share you guys, share who you are, why you're here, where you're going with this and be passionate because people like to follow people that have belief, commitment, passion towards things. Nobody likes to follow or join somebody who's halfway in, halfway out. Oh, let me, let me try. I don't try anything in my life. I do it. I make a decision that I'm going to do it and I do it and nothing, no one gets in my way. Show up with that, with that attitude, not, you know, well, you know, I'm trying to see if I hate when people say they are trying well, you already gave yourself permission to quit. You already gave yourself permission to fail because when we're trying something, what does that mean? There's a chance it's not going to work out, right? Because you're just trying. So don't try things in your life. Just do it. Choose something, make a decision, and then do it. And don't allow anything or anyone to get in your way. And you're never going to fail because you're going to do it. It doesn't matter if it take you five years to get to Crown Diamond. Just think about this for a moment. What if it took you 10 years to get to Crown Diamond? Do you have any other plans to make $100,000 a year over the next 10 years? Have you seen any other opportunity out there that it's going to take you to 100K? Not a, Did I say a year, a month? $100,000 a month. Do you have anything else that can make $100,000 a month? So even if it took you 10 years, did you fail? Did you fail if you hit Crown Diamond in 10 years? No, I have been in real estate for 23 years. It takes most people two to three years to make money to survive in real estate. Unfortunately, most quit in the first 12 months, even after paying thousands of dollars to get a license, even after studying for months to pass the state test, they still quit in 12 months. Why? Subconsciously, they were hoping for a Ponzi scheme. Subconsciously, they thought they were going to get a real estate license and people would come knocking on the door and calling them and being like, can you list my two and a half million dollar house? You guys, no, you get a real estate license. It's just like real estate. It's just like uh, network marketing. It's just like live good. There's nothing. You got to go get the the job. You you got to get hired, basically. I got to go knock on doors. I got to call Fizbo's and say, hey, sir, I see that you're selling your house by owner. You probably hate realtors, right? And they laugh. They go, yeah. I'm like, I'm not trying to list your house, but I'm one of the top agents in the state. And I like to see my inventory. Could I stop by this week, either Tuesday morning or Thursday morning to take a look at your house? Bam, I get over there. I list that house. Okay. I learned how to do that before I would almost pass out. Same thing with network marketing. When I started in the 90s, we literally had cassette tapes that we would hand out to people. And then it was the CDs. And then it was a magazine. And I remember the first magazine that I gave to a woman. I was so nervous. I dropped the magazine on the floor. I grabbed it. And I turned away and I walked away with my magazine feeling sorry for myself. So you're not going to be good at this in one day, in two weeks. It's taken me decades to become good at network marketing, to have confidence, to, to make the money. So even if it takes 10 years, guys, stay with it. You are growing every day. You're developing every day. You're learning new skills. Now, the worst thing that you do is to go look at the next gig. Oh, you know what? And I'll tell you this. You know what attracts you into the next gig? It's so sad. 
It's somebody putting out a post saying, oh, I just made $20,000 in two hours. You're like, oh, this one must be easy and quick. Let me go over here then. Let, let me go look at the easy, quick money that I can make with this person. Stop the madness, you guys. It, you are the same person. That person that made 20,000 in two minutes, number one, they're exaggerating because they're trying to attract you over there. So they're exaggerating. Easy money, that is quick money, it equals, you can write this down, easy and quick cash equals illegal. It's illegal. That's the pyramid scheme. Um, I know two people that just went into custody. I got a letter from the FBI because I was in that gig, VIP mining. Um, they're in jail, you guys. They're in custody. Easy and quick cash equals illegal. So don't look for when you see postings from people saying, I just made this much in 40 days. I just made this much in, in 30 days. I just good for them. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I have a legit business opportunity here in Live Good where I don't hurt people. I don't take $500 from people. I don't take $1,000 or $3,000. I don't hurt people. On the top of that, I don't get commissions off of members purchasing products. Do you know how incredible that feels, you guys? Yesterday, I talked to a guy. He joined my team. And he said, what products do you recommend? And I said to him, I recommend starting out with the ultimate, uh, ultimate wellness pack. And I said to him, and you know how good I feel to, re to, to refer you to this pack? I get paid zero on it. I'm telling you to buy this pack because you are the one who is going to be making money on this pack. He goes, how? I'm like, you're paying $14 on average per item on this pack. You're paying $14 on average, for each item inside of this pack. Guys, you know what's in that pack? Super greens and super reds. This guy's paying 14 bucks, or he can go pay 70 on Amazon. First time in history this happens. In network marketing, the way it goes is any company that you can go look at right now, you're going to sell a product that is highly overpriced, and people are going to buy packs when they get started. And they're going to dump the packs on Amazon and eBay. So now you are competing with Amazon and eBay. Your personal network marketing products, you, you, your own, I'm not talking about similar products. I'm talking about somebody joins. Great example, Nerium International, where I made seven figures. We had a bottle of Nerium AD. It was an anti-aging cream, Okay. $90 for one ounce, $90, one ounce of a cream. What do you think that happened? We sold packs where people bought 12 bottles of Nerium AD. 90 days later, they can't sell it because we're are they going to sell retail on, on something that's already 90 for members? They can't sell it. They can't use all those bottles in a month. So within 60 to 90 days, and they have to buy an auto ship 30 days later, right? They have enough products to last a year, but 30 days later, they have to buy more. 90 days into it, they're all on eBay for 50 bucks, for 40 bucks. We don't do that here. So we're actually giving people something that has value and you're never going to see our products on eBay ever because how much are they going to sell it for? And they're not buying huge packs. Everything they buy, they can use in 30 days. So that no one is ever going to be purchasing enough products to last six months to a year. Everybody purchases enough to use for 30 days. You know, it may be like me. I take nine products a day because I don't want to live a long life. I want to live a, a long life that has high quality. Um, I know Lisa always talks about that on Fridays. You know, it's not about um, living to be 90 or 100 if you are in horrible health. It's about living a long life that is healthy. And so I'm very focused on that. It's number one in my life is being healthy and taking care of my body and exercising and eating well and sleeping. And these products are incredible. I truly guys put these products against any product in the market. Remember my husband is a physician. My sister is a registered dietitian. I have had companies in the past that I did not join because these two people in my life said, if you join this company, don't, don't take the products, okay? Uh, there was a company called Vicellas back in the day, and I looked at joining, and both my husband and my sister said to me, 
if you join, do not take the product. It's that bad. And so here, it's the opposite. For the first time since 1998, I have my husband on all the products. I mean, I, my husband's obsessed with these products. So we have high quality products. We don't hurt people. We actually help people. We give them value that is out of this world. They are the ones getting paid when they purchase the products. I want you guys to really understand this. When you're sharing this with people, the people that are purchasing these products, they are getting the moment. Every time I put an order in, I feel like money just came into my pocket. We basically get paid to purchase these products because tell me where are you going to find super greens that US that's uh, USDA certified organic, organic certifiers, non-GMO project verified, cruelty free, certificate of analysis. Go find me a super greens and super reds with all of these certifications with this kind of quality for fourteen dollars. So as you're purchasing these products, you're getting paid. You are getting paid a lot of money every time you purchase one of these products. So I'm happy that I'm not getting a commission off of a friend who's overpaying for a product so I can make five bucks and my upline can get paid millions a year. So what we have here, guys, it's so unique. It's such a blessing. Get focused. Even if it takes you 10 years to get to Crown Diamond, stick with it. Continue to work at your full-time job while you're doing this on the side. But there's nothing as amazing as this. And don't pay attention. Don't don't look at the shiny objects because now all day, every day, you see stuff like I know the transact card is a big one right now that people are like, have you looked at the card? Have, have you looked at the card? I did a video about it. You guys, the thing is already a nightmare. Like, oh, it's a beta test. <laughs> okay, you guys has it's a they started when we when I did in February when I started over here. You've been beta testing since then. They're having an event in Vegas, $250 per person to get into this event. They're going to make millions of dollars off of this event. I'm telling you, don't pay attention to anything else out there because everything out there is weird, is strange. Weight loss is something else that I'm here to tell you. In 90 days, weight loss is 90 day lived because there's no miracle for losing weight. And I know there's a lot of people getting distracted with that. So I'm here to tell you, there's nothing that it's going to be sustainable and long-term for you like Live Good. There's nothing. You can even go somewhere else and make some money up front because when you move into something, there's an influx of money, right? Because a lot of people follow and then you make that. And leaders love to do that. They love to move around from company to company because every time they go, people are like, oh my gosh, she's making money. She is making money. You're not. You're not going to. You're just following to make that person money. So stop following people around. Follow yourself. Be the leader. Be the one that attracts people to come to do this with you. But you're not going to find anything better than this here because, again, this has longevity. You know why? Because for things to last they need to have value for people. Why is Costco around? I think I've had a Costco membership for 15 years. Why do I pay 120 to Costco every single year, no matter what? It's not a cost. It's not a burden. It's not a problem in my life. It's a solution. It's a benefit. It's savings. Why do I have Amazon Prime? I've had Amazon Prime since 20, I think 2010. How long ago is that when it's like 13 years I've had Amazon Prime? Why? It's a savings. There's value. There's benefits. That is the only kind of stuff that's going to stay around you guys. Everything else is fluff. Everything else is weirdness. It's just craziness. It's just stories. You want something that's going to be here for you and your family 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. This is it because we're giving true value benefits and savings for people. That's what people want. That can have longevity. Quick money, easy money. It's illegal. It's a scam. You, you are taking advantage of people. You got to ask yourself, is that who you want to be? Do you want to be somebody that takes advantage of people? I see so many people online saying, oh, you know, I was struggling and now I'm making this money. I'm, I feel like those posts are like offensive. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. What's in it for me is where people live. So why are people always doing these posts that are like, 
Oh, I made the, oh, I, I came over here and now I'm making $12,000 in a quick second. Okay. Nobody cares. How are you going to help them? Just because you got lucky over there on a quick uh, launch, right? Because launches always have money. Don't you feel bad? Don't you care enough about people to feel bad to be like, I'm not going to bring people into this because they're not going to make it. They're going to pay $500 to join. And then a few months later, they're going to be gone. And now they lost the 500 bucks. Because if they, I know they are in live good. And if they can't make it and live good, offering something that's 50 bucks and that is helping people to actually save money, that 50 bucks will be a benefit in 30 days. Like literally if somebody comes in with $50 and they buy the super greens and the super reds the first month, they just saved $104. So they, the $50, they already broke even and now they're $50 in profit. That's how I see live good. It's not about the money that I receive. It's the money I save as I'm purchasing these products. So even if somebody paid 139 for the whole year ahead of time and they bought the ultimate wellness pack, they already are in profit mode, you guys. That is, write that down. If somebody bought 139 and they bought the ultimate wellness pack, they are in profit mode. Go look at the price comparisons. There's seven products in that pack. Go look at the price comparisons. And I promise you, they have saved more than $139. So people are making money the second that they purchase that pack. They, they already made money. They're already on the positive. No one can do that anywhere else. So you really need to, as you're talking to people, they need to understand that. Do they love people? What, what are they all about? Do you care about people? Do you have a heart for people? If you have a heart for people, you would never consider sharing any other business opportunity with them because anything else is going to hurt people. And here we help people that join us. So with that, it's uh, 10.55. I'm going to give it back to Kelly. And I thank you guys for being here today. I want you to know that I love this company. I love you for being here because without you, there is no company. I will do anything in my power to help you. It doesn't matter if you are in my my team, Kelly's team, Jesse's team. It doesn't matter. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help you. My heart is here for life. I would never look at anything else. I would never focus on anything else. And one last thing. I said I was going to give it back to Kelly, but I want to share one last thing with you guys. If you are doing multiple network marketing companies, do yourself a favor, pick one and only promote one on your Facebook page. Because when you are promoting several things on your page, you lose all respect. I've seen top leaders go from having a lot of respect from people to zero respect from people. I've seen their posts going from having 100 likes to 15 likes because of it. So if you're going to promote different things, do it under wraps and promote one thing. The one that you like the most is the one that you show up for online every single day because I promise you people will not respect you as a leader because you know what the first thing is that they think? Well, if they were if they were good, if they were good, they would be making money and live good. Why did they go over there? They're not good. So people begin to, to lose respect. And it's true. Would Tim Miller have to go anywhere else to make money? No, he's making 100K a month. He doesn't need to go anywhere else. So when people are hopping around, they lose all respect because people look at them as like desperate, right? They're desperate. They're not very talented because if they were, they would get to diamond over here. Even if it took a year, two years, it doesn't matter. I don't care if it takes me 10 years to get to crown diamond. I know I can do it. I'm going to do it. Nothing, no way, no one's getting in my way, even if it takes me 10 years. But what these, what we see when people are hopping around and promoting different things, we see them as failure. They keep failing at everything that they do and they go to the next thing and then they obviously failed again and they go to the next thing and they failed. You only fail when you quit. That's why I don't fail because I don't give up on things. My first year in real estate was tough. I did seven open houses a week. I had no life. I barely ate and slept. Like it was all about building my business, but I got through it and I became a top earner in real estate, became a top earner in the state of Arizona. Have that mentality, you guys. It doesn't matter if, how long it takes, but if you keep hopping around, you look like a big loser. People are like, man, this person really can't make it anywhere. I would never join them 
because all they do is hop around from company to company. That's not who I want as my upline. That's not who I want as my sponsor. Ask yourself, do you want yourself as your sponsor, right? Would you want to join with somebody who every day is promoting something different on Facebook? So again, if you're going to do different things, just pick one, stick with it online. So people think you're just doing that one thing and multiple streams of income, you guys, just so you know, the right definition is not being in 20 MLM companies or digital marketing companies or selling courses online. Multiple streams of income is having stocks and knowing how to trade, having real estate investments that you, you rent or you do Airbnbs, flipping homes. That's multiple streams of income. It's not being in, in 20 gigs online, even, you know, uh, an Uber, if you're going to drive an Uber, that's another stream of income, but being in 20 companies, it just makes us look like losers. Like we can't make it work anywhere and we keep hopping around. And the worst part of that is we keep dragging people along with us. And that is a shame as a leader. I shame all leaders that bring people and drag them around from company. To, oh, now I'm doing this. Come along with me. Now I'm doing, because they are the only ones making quick cash up front as you follow, right? And then they hop to the next thing and then you're left hanging. You're like, oh, now they're moving on to that thing. Let me do it again. And you're paying to join all these things. You don't make money anywhere. Focus and become uncomfortable here and have a 12 month goal for yourself. Like you're not going anywhere. You're not, you're not looking at anything for 12 months and you're going to be uncomfortable for 12 months months every day get up in the morning what can I do today that is so uncomfortable man I'm going to do a, a, a video I'm going to do a live video today I'm going to be sweating I'm going to be nervous but I'm going to do it because as I become uncomfortable I grow and as I grow my business grows and I make more money so I promise now I'm giving it back to you Kelly thank you